I'm, I'm Basara Miyahara, uh, currently chairing the Global Geodesic Observing System, GIGOS. Uh, welcome to the uh, GIGOS annual meeting, GIGOS Days 2021 uh, virtual conference. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we cannot meet face-to-face uh, -face this year too, uh, but uh, we will have three days uh, online conference uh, from today to October 13. Uh, we will have two hours uh, online meeting each day, so we have uh, six hours in total. Uh, the COVID-19 pandemic situation is still uh, uh, not sure, and uh, 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 we are still uh, need to work uh, mainly in, uh, in virtual, but the uh, uh, GIGOS uh, components are working very hard to achieve uh, many things, and uh, they uh, achieved a lot uh, this year. So uh, through three days conference, uh, GIGOS com components will have a report on their activity. Um, in addition to the report from GIGOS components, uh, GIGOS bureaus, focus areas, uh, GIGOS coordinating office, um, working groups, uh, GIGOS external relations, and also GIGOS science panel, uh, we will have uh, two invited speakers at uh, this conference, at uh, this meeting. Uh, the first one is ITR 2020, and the second one is uh, the United Nations Subcommittee on Geodesy and uh, Global Geodesy Center of Excellence. As you can see on the screen today, uh, we will have a report from the GIGOS uh, Science Panel and also two GIGOS affiliates, uh, GIGOS Dahar and GIGOS Japan and also GIGOS coordinating office and uh, working group on DORIs for geodetic datasets, GIGOS signal relations, and uh, after that, uh, we will have a general discussion. Uh, so uh, at the first of them, uh, uh, at the beginning of the meeting, I would like to uh, announce uh, several uh, housekeeping matters. So in order to Stay band with us. Uh, please switch off your camera and the microphone uh, when you are not speaking. And uh, when you want to speak, uh, just uh, turn on your microphone and camera and uh, start to speak. And today, uh, we will have a time to take group photo uh, after the reports from GIGOS affiliates. So please uh, turn on your camera at the time of group photo, uh, uh, one hour from the uh, beginning. Uh, so uh, let me start with the uh, uh, report of GIGOS and IEG. Uh, so this is the uh, first presentation of today. Uh, so I'd like to report the uh, GIGOS uh, activity, briefly uh, summarize the uh, GIGOS activity this year. Uh, can I share my screen? Uh, um, yes, you can share the screen. Okay. Uh, Simply click on the button. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, can you see uh, my screen now? Yes. Okay. Okay, so let me start with uh, GIGOS report this year. Uh, the first, uh, GIGOS highlight uh, from 2019 to 2021. So GIGOS, uh, one of the main focus of GIGOS is uh, geodesy outreach. So the uh, GIGOS updated the, its uh, website, uh, it's a, a major revision and uh, have there are various new functions. And the second one is uh, GIGOS uh, established new working group on DOIs for geodesic data sets. And the uh, uh, GIGOS Bureau's product and standards uh, updated the uh, 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 BPS inventory in the Geodesic Handbook uh, 2020. And of course, GIGOS focus areas uh, uh, have an, a very active uh, achievement, and IHRF and uh, G2's consortium and uh, Geodesic Space Weather Research has a good progress. And uh, we, GIGOS, uh, welcomed a second GIGOS affiliate, GIGOS Daha. Uh, German-speaking countries, Germany, Australia, and Switzerland, and uh, GIGOS external relations extended uh, its activity uh, 
Now, Jigos representing IAG on the GEO Program Board and Executive Committee, I will briefly uh, touch about each item. So, Jigos uh, released a new Jigos website in December 2020. And uh, uh, in the new Jigos website, Jigos uh, uh, focus more on Jigos as observing system, uh, not only for Jigos as organization. So uh, now IG services at front of the new web website. And the uh, new, uh, uh, new website uh, now have uh, new pages for geodetic products and geodetic observations. Uh, these pages uh, are an uh, easy and simple text and eye-catching attractive visuals uh, in order to outreach roles and importance of geodesy to non-geodesists. And the new site also uh, have uh, several new functions to enhance GIGOS outreach and communications, uh, such as uh, GIGOS newsletters, uh, GIGOS clubs, and GIGOS blogs, and so on. Uh, GIGOS coordinating office, Martin Seno, uh, will make a presentation about the new site uh, later today. So uh, GIGOS products and also GIGOS uh, observations. Uh, uh, observation pages are now almost completed and uh, will be released soon. And uh, GIGOS uh, established new working group on DOIs for geodetic data sets. Uh, GIGOS recognized the benefits of DOIs and a uh, new, new working group on DOIs for geodetic set, data sets uh, established in 2019. Uh, Kirsten Elga of GFC Potsdam uh, is chairing the working group and uh, more than 20 members are participating in the working group. Uh, the members are mainly from IAG services. And the working group has analyzed use cases and best practices, both in uh, geodesy and other scientific fields. Uh, the working group is uh, working on how to establish parameters and procedures assigning DORs to geodetic datasets. Uh, Kirsten will make a presentation on the uh, activity of working group later today, too. And uh, GIGOS welcomed this year uh, as the second GIGOS affiliate, GIGOS DAHA. Uh, the uh, GIGOS DAHA is uh, chaired by uh, Hans Jokuta, uh, Germany, and uh, they are now uh, working to uh, enhance the, their uh, organizational structure. Uh, Hans Jok will also make a presentation about the current status and progress of GIGOS DAHA today. And the uh, fin uh, final slide is about uh, GIGOS past perspectives for 2021 to 2023. Uh, we are planning to continue geodesy outreach. Uh, the one of our focus in geodesy outreach is collaboration with the United Nations Subcommittee on Geodesy. Uh, supporting, uh, also supporting the uh, new uh, Global Geodetic Center of Excellence under the uh, Subcommittee on Geodesy. Uh, so GIGOS external relation is now working uh, with the subcommittee and Jodice working group on outreach and communication. And uh, uh, another focus is feedback to ITR 2020. GIGOS uh, is planning to uh, hold a unified analysis workshop uh, 2022 uh, with an uh, IERS. Uh, this workshop is was originally planned uh, uh, to be held on October 2021 in uh, Munich, Germany, in hybrid format of uh, in virtual and uh, in, uh, in person. But uh, uh, considering the COVID-19 pandemic situation, and also the workshop is uh, in need a uh, uh, face-to-face discussion. So uh, we decided to uh, postpone the workshop to October 22 to 25, uh, 2022 uh, in Tessakiloni, uh, Greece, uh, in hybrid format. And the uh, workshop will be held in conjunction with IG Commission 1 Symposium, uh, REFAG 2022. So we are now uh, discussing uh, the details about uh, uh, these two events within uh, uh, Commission 1 President Christopher. And uh, uh, final uh, one is an update of GIGOS strategic plan. Uh, we are considering to uh, ha uh, hold a uh, strategic plan workshop, a uh, GIGOS strategic plan workshop uh, in 2022. So in the workshop, uh, we are planning to have face-to-face -face discussion for SWOT analysis. 
uh, SWOT analysis to identify strengths, uh, weakness, opportunity, and uh, threats of GBOS, and uh, decide what needs uh, uh, needed to be kept and uh, also improved in the next GBOS strategic plan in, uh, in coming uh, 10 years. Uh, so this is the uh, final slide of my presentation. So uh, if you have any questions and comments about the GIGOS report uh, last year, uh, so please. Any questions and comments? Masara, may I have uh, some comments, please? Yes, please. Uh, Zuhir? This is Zuhair speaking, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, well, okay. Uh, regarding the Unified Analysis Workshop, which was postponed mm -hmm. next year in 2022, I mean, in Thessaloniki, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. one is that, uh, I mean, it is uh, not devoted on, entirely to ITER 2020. ITER 2020 will be part of that, uh, yeah. just to avoid confusion uh, for those who are ah, attending okay. this meeting. Okay. So I think okay. yes, it will be part yeah. of that. Uh, as uh, usually, yeah. we yeah. have uh, a number of items within uh, the Unified Analysis Workshop. Uh, yeah. The other comment that I have, you might consider discussing with uh, Christopher Kusakis uh, regarding the sessions, because uh, as far as uh, the last information I got from uh, Commission One President Christopher Kusakis, is that you are planning to have two weeks, which means that the um, Unified Analysis Workshop will follow the REFAG. Uh, initially, yeah. when I proposed to uh, have that uh, together with the uh, Commission One uh, Symposium, there the REFAG, is to avoid actually uh, conflict uh, with other meetings, but that's good that it was postponed to that time. But in the meantime, you need to optimize probably the time there, uh, two weeks might appear too long for some participant, and therefore you might consider discussing with uh, Christopher in order to combine some sessions, because I am sure there are uh, common uh, uh, subjects to be discussed, and therefore uh, you might need to uh, shorten uh, the duration in total and see if you can uh, have common sessions and the uh, Unified Analysis Workshop is a Unified Analysis Workshop, so there, there are, I am sure, pretty sure that there are uh, common uh, subjects that can be merged in, uh, in one session during, uh, during that event. So this is my proposal, so please consider uh, that because I hear that you will have two consecutive weeks and that might be too long. Yes, uh, thank you very much for your comment. Uh, we are discussing about uh, uh, two events, and uh, uh, actually, it's not two weeks, uh, eight, nine days. Uh, I know it's uh, uh, even though it's very long, uh, we are discussing how to optimize and uh, uh, make the uh, events as much as compact. Uh, thank you very much for your comment. I will talk with Christopher again.